Now, don't get me wrong. I love my, my Chevys and my GM products. But let's talk about something serious for a minute. The windshield washer fluid. You think you don't need it until you're going down the road and one of the birds flying over takes a nice little uh, shot on your windshield. What the? So you hit the panic button to try and get the smear off the windshield and you get nothing. So then you watch a six and a half minute YouTube video. In this six and a half minute video that you watch, this guy has to pull out the inner fender, pull out the battery, pull out the battery tray, pull out the molding, pull back the fuse box. It says a good mechanic can take them about 30 minutes. Now I'm far from a master mechanic, but I find myself uh, fairly mechanically inclined. So I remove the inner fender to get to this guy right here. Behind that, up inside here, is where GM decided they wanted to put this little tiny motor. Now in order to get to that, I had to remove the battery, the battery tray, just to get back behind there, drop it on my head. So literally 36 bolts later, I was able to get everything out onto the ground for a whopping 15 seconds to pull out the pump and put it back together. There's the problem right there, GM. Are you listening to this? Now my wife, to her credit, said something very smart. So we'll go ahead and throw some kudos on that one. She says, why don't you go ahead and take it in? It's probably under warranty. And I thought for a second, you might be onto something there. And I realized I don't want to lose my man card for a windshield washer motor. So I take this project on. And what did I learn? After using three hours of my life to change out a windshield washer motor? Probably should have listened to my wife. The panic button is good. So one's got to ask, what did you learn out of this, Nick? Well, I learned that. Having a nice new truck is, is good and comfortable and everything else, but can't work on them. I learned that old school is sometimes better. So I guess stay tuned, because uh, next thing we're doing is we're taking that cab right there and shoving it onto that frame right there. Maybe put a little diesel motor inside of it, you know, something you could actually work on.